behind me, you can see the barricades indicating that the park is closed to the general public, but all day long we have seen trucks like that one that you see right there coming in and out, hauling tons of rock and dirt left by that flood. No, this is her first time. It needs to hurry up and open back up so we'll have somewhere to go. People from across the state stop to admire the view of Turner Falls from up high. Down closer, backhoe operators are working nonstop to dig out the swimming areas. If people can't come and swim, they don't want to come. So that's the biggest challenge. We caught up with Davis Mayor Ed Parks wearing his work overalls, pitching in with the cleanup. There's still a lot of debris in the creeks. We've gotten probably 50% of it out, but there's still a lot more. Nearly 200 truckloads of debris and rock have been pulled out. It was piled up higher than the track hole when he started. This was all solid rock out in here. KOCO was given exclusive access to see the damage up close. The flood washed out roads, took out okay. trees, even sides of buildings. You talked about some preventative efforts that were done before. What was that? We put in the big riprap down on the creek. Okay. Now, it washed it out this time, but had it not been there, it would have done a lot more damage. To it. And volunteers from as far as Texas have come in to help clean up debris. The mayor here tells me anyone who wants to come out and help pick up debris is sure welcome and needed. Live at Turner Falls, Patty Santos, KOCO 5 News.